hopefully we get some size up. Today I want to talk a little bit about a kinder project I'm involved with, uh, that we're working with some East Coast Māori. So the origin of this story was I was chatting to uh, this East Coast Māori group called Hikarangi Bioactives about what they can do in the marine environment. They've got a big terrestrial thing around cannabis oil and kanuka and manuka oils, and we're looking in the marine environment. At the same time, I had a really good conversation with a Japanese researcher, a friend of mine, about sea urchins and the valuable properties in there. So we sort of put those two together to form this uh, partnership. And the project itself was a lot at the start is working and listening, listening to uh, the different hapu up there on the east coast and understanding what they, their kina about how they use it and how we can actually get some, uh, some sort of collaboration going, working with them to understand what's inside their kina. I'm a chemist, so this part, next part is where I fit in, understanding what's inside those, the bioactives that we need to uh, evaluate and understand. So we did a lot of chemistry to analyse them. And then we did a, we're doing a quick year-long sampling around different seasons, different locations, trying to understand sort of the ranges of bioactives with inside these kina. Um, we want to try and look at an extract sale, so we're working in with some engineers trying to find out how do we do this commercially, and then f working. What does this? The big question is, what does these extracts do? What do they do in a cell line model, a yeast model, and even a human model? And then we're trying to build a business case around that. So I'm going to try and cover that in the next three minutes. Uh, so we've got three compounds. I'm doing a little bit of a secret scroll trying to tell you not what they are because we want to protect some of this at the moment. But one comes from the shell, the waste product of kina. It's been shown from some Russians that it's very good antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and we're really excited about this. It's a really vibrant red pigment. The second one is a pigment that's found inside the, uh, the insides of a, a kina, and um, it's really colourful, and there's also some literature out there that it has some properties that are beneficial. And then there's a whole lot of bioactive lipids it's omega-3 plus. There's a lot of other things in that lipid that goes beyond what the usual omega-3 story is. So there's lots of things in there, these three targets that we pulled out of there. So this is the kind of stuff that I was doing. We're trying to analyse what's in there. We want to find out what compound A is, but what are the other peaks that are inside that are highly related. And we want to find out where it's seasonally and uh, location across that East Cape where it is. So we did a lot of work around this. We also wanted to scale up these sort of things. So this is me working in real time, um, trying to find out, uh, extract these things. So it's good working with pigments because you can see them really colourful. It's well, not so good working with things that you can't see. And I wanted that big orange band. That's a really uh, interesting bioactive that's coming through now and we're just trying to collect it. So when you dilute it, it is actually yellow, not orange. But that's, uh, that's, that's compound B. Uh, so we've gone through a whole lot of seasonal testing, working with hapu up there to collect their own kinna from where they know where the good kinna is, where they understand that's sort of like different uh, locations on site that East, East Cape and sending them to me to do their chemistry understanding. So we've done the summer and autumn ones, we're doing winter right now and we're sampling right now as I found out today of the, the spring samples and we want to find that range of bioactives. We're also working some really smart people around the efficacy of these things, what these things do inside you. Uh, working with Massey University and cell lines that we've built up around inflammation, so this is the arthritis model, so your, your bone, your knee, your joint, your muscle, all that, uh, we've got cell line uh, studies on all of that. If you want to go downstairs and see the poster, Andrew Mikowski and his team have done some really interesting stuff on some yeast deletion uh, models that he has, We're really trying to find out what the mechanism is going there. There's a talented team there of students, and that's going to be down there on a poster. But we're also working with Deakin University and my friends at Hokkaido University, trying to understand what they do. Because some of these aren't commonly eaten things. We don't eat the shell. We want to find out what they do. And they're really interesting, the results that were coming out. I think some of Andrew's stuff included some things along cancer, diabetes, uh, and the eternal pill, long, long life, long longevity, which would be kind of nice. Um, so where to next? We've got a whole lot of co uh, correlation of all the data that we're finding. We want to find out when and where are the best places to look at for kina. We want to communicate this with the iwi, bring them along on the journey, and understand where uh, the commercialisation, the IP differences are, are there. And we also have to understand how it works inside the human, inside the uh, cell line. 
So this is a very good initial start, but we've got a lot more to do. So if we're scaling up extraction, it's quite complicated to get some of these things out of the kinner. Uh, we want to try and get this standard uh, committee for therapeutic trials because we don't eat the shell, so it's not a usual food. So we have to understand if there's any negative effects around that. And we want to, in the future, look at further efficacy studies, around, especially around humans. We want to make sure it's working inside humans. So it's a long-term game, but the good thing about working with bio, uh, Hikarangi, they have that long-term focus as well. Thank you very much.